Good day, everyone. So today we'll be working on a peplum skirt using our first book. So for peplum skirt, the required measurement we have our waist, hip, hip depth, skirt length. So after taking out your measurement, all you need to do is draft out your basic or pencil skirt. So we've done basic skirts, we've done pencil skirts. So whichever one suits you, which one do you prefer using? You can use your basic skirt, you can use your pencil skirt. So what you need to do, draft out your basic or pencil skirt. When you are done, you cut it out. So for the peplum, we are going to use, um, work on the um, gathered peplum. For peplum skirt, what you need to do, for peplum length, you need to get your peplum length and width. Peplum length and peplum width. So I'm working with the gathered peplum. For peplum length, the length of the peplum is your hip depth. So your hip depth measurement is peplum length. So my hip depth is 9 inches. So that serves as my peplum length. So hip depth plus 1 inch for hemming allowance. Next, peplum width is waist measurements times 3 plus 10 inches. Just as how you achieve your gathered width. So, waist times 3. So, if my waist is 30, I'll go 30 times 3 plus 10 inches. So, 30 times 3 will give me 60. And will give me 90. 90 plus 10. So, that will be 100 inches. So, peplum width is 100 inches. So if you want to cut, we're going to cut, we're going to cut out just the way we achieve our, our gathered skirt. Same way we achieve our gathered skirt. We don't watch our peplum. So it's same way we achieve our gather skirt. So this serves as the length of the peplum, which is 10 inches. That's 9 plus 1, 10 inches. And then the width will be long. That's your waist times 3 plus 10 inches. So if my um, waist is 30, I, I will go 30 times 3, which is 90 plus 10. That will be 100. So this from here to here should be 100 inches. So this is how we achieve our peplum. So next is you rule your 0 0.25 line at the width, at the widest part, all the way, two times. Just the way we achieve that gather skirt. And then you sew on gathers. Don't forget to adjust the sewing machine and then you sew on it. Sew gathers and pull. After pulling, so what you need to do is sew your, your skirt, your basic or your pencil skirt first before attaching the peplum. So I'll be showing you that on the next video. If you have any question, you can ask. Okay, hello everyone. So I'll be showing you, this is it. I've done the cutting. This is my center front and my center back. And this is the, I'm using the pencil skirt. So after cutting the fabric, now this is the strip for the gathers for my peplum. So what I'm going to do now, first is to sew the skirt so i'm going to fix the zip and then hold my that then join the sides so that's the first step it's like you're sewing a complete skirt so that's what i'm doing i'm going to sew this the skirt first before i bring the peplum in so now this is it this is the skirt i've done the hemming the sewing fix the zip so when it's remaining the band when it's remaining the band you will keep it aside and then bring your peplum over so what i'm going to do first is to hem one part of it you know just like your gather skirt you do the hemming of one part so i'm going to hem one part of the width and then continue so let me do the hemming first okay so i've done the hemming i'm going to iron it properly after ironing what to do next is to mark the 0 0.25 just the way we did our gather skirt mark 0 0.25 
one line, second line. You mark two two points of zero point five and mark all the way through it. So do not forget to adjust the stitch length adjuster to five so that your stitch length will be wider. So I've done it now. I've sewn both lines. Now I'm going to pull my gathers. Okay, so this is it. I've pulled the gathers back to the waist measurement. So now I'm going to bring the skirt to attach the peplum to it. So before placing it on the skirt, I'm going to hem the side. This is it. The end part. I will hem it to the back and then the other side. I'm hemming both parts. So I'm hemming the side. When I'm done, I'll cut out. So now I'm placing it on the skirt. So this is it. I'll open the zipper, place from here. I've not cut the thread I use in it because I, I can always readjust my using easily from there. So I'll place it from one part, so round it to go the other side. So I'm stitching it now. So it's okay. So set it properly as you're sewing. So I'm attaching it to the waist. So this is the end to so stop at the other end of the zip. So by the time I am done, so this is it. So this is the end. This is how it ended at the back. So when I'm done now, I can now cut my thread and fix my band. So that will be the next thing I'm doing. Okay, so this is it. I'm done. This is the skirt. So this is the reason why I prefer using pencil skirt. See how shaped and fitted it is, the base. And then see the gathers properly done with the band. See the sewing at the edge of the band. So I need it to make yours, make sure yours is finer and neater than mine. The reason why I use black thread, the reason why I'm not using a matching color thread is so that you can see all my sewing and the hemming properly. But for your, when you're making yours, you have to use a matching color thread. So this is the peplum skirt. See how the peplum is full, arranged properly. Thank you.